Ms. Bryant challenged me to see if she could afford to go green and drive a hybrid SUV. She said the choice was mine, but she did tell me that she prefers American-made vehicles and that she wanted an SUV. I needed to find similar or the same model in both an SUV and an SUV hybrid. That really made it difficult until I found the 2015 Toyota Highlander. It comes in a hybrid and a regular um, LE model and it is actually made and produced in Indiana. That makes it American made. I'm going to go ahead and show you some exciting things about the Toyota Highlander. I'm going to use their e-brochure. This e-brochure really highlights a lot of what you can see about the Highlander and also allows us to look at There we go. Allows us to look at some of the features that are available in both the Highlander and the Highlander Hybrid and some that are not. It is a beautiful vehicle. Has very nice interior. It seems to be a very roomy model. As I move down this chart here begins to tell you about the different features available on the models. I chose to look at the LE model and the hybrid limited model. Um, the LE model does not come with a moonroof while the hybrid does, which is a very exciting feature. Something that I think Miss Bryant would like to have is cruise control, which comes on both models. Child protector rear door locks, which also comes in both models. And the latch system for the car seat, which comes in both models. Some safety features that I think are awesome. Um, are the driver technology package which only comes in the hybrid limited model. This gives you dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert, automatic high beams, and safety connect pre-collision systems. <clears throat> also available are the second row captain's chairs, uh, only available on the hybrid. Rear seat Blu-ray disc entertainment system, also only available on the hybrid. Another something that she might be really interested in is power doors and locks and that comes standard on both models. If we get down to the specifications you'll see that the Highlander LE gets an average of 25 miles per gallon in the city and 25 miles per gallon in the on the highway while the hybrid gets 27 miles per gallon in the city and an average of 28 on the highway. I use these numbers to help me. Also, if we go to Toyota's website, we'll see that the beginning price for a hybrid and the LE model begins at $29,415, while the hybrid begins at $47,500 per vehicle. Ms. Bryant gave me this chart that listed where she goes each month, and I calculated the total miles per week right here, multiplied that by 4, right here and then added in the mileage here that she does each smaller amounts of times per month finding that the total mileage per month is 1,695.4 mile, miles per month. I then went to gasbuddy.com and found that the cheapest gas in the area was at 269. This allowed me to calculate the hybrid amount of gas she'd need for a month and the non-hybrid amount of gas she'd need for a month based on her mileage and the cost per month. For the hybrid, it would be $172.14 and for the non-hybrid, it would be $210.09. 
I then went to Randolph Brooks <coughs> to look at their loan rates and found that for a three, four, and five year loan, the lowest amount she could pay in APR is 1.65%. I used that to calculate for the hybrid and the non-hybrid vehicles and their monthly payments based on the term of the loan. I did the same thing for USAA. However, when I went to their website and looked at their rates, I found that for a vehicle that she is interested in purchasing, the only APR that was less than Randolph Brooks was for the three-year three term. At 1.99, Randolph Brooks would be a cheaper deal. So I didn't calculate those rates. I only used the three-year term. At this, you see the hybrid would cost her um, this amount with her monthly payments here, and the non-hybrid would cost this amount with her monthly payment here. I then added in the gas to the monthly payment per month for the hybrid and non-hybrid vehicles. According to Mrs. Bryant, she has an average monthly budget of $900 for her vehicle. Looking at this, I can see that the hybrid, even the cheapest hybrid at five years, is still over her budget. If you check our non-hybrid vehicles, including the gas mileage, she could either have a five-year note or a three-year note on her car. Unfortunately, Mrs. Bryant cannot afford to go green, at least not now anyways.